Hello, Michael here with another Redshift tutorial. Today we're going to be having a look at exporting Z depth passes into Nuke and hooking them up and using them for things like depth of field or atmosphere, very simply. Uh, so I've got a scene here. Uh, I've turned off the depth of field on the camera so everything is in focus, just so you know. Um, and we're just going to jump up to render settings. And um, I've already created one, so I'll stop delete that and start again. So we're going to uh, go to the AOV tab and then we're going to select depth and click add. This is going to give us a Z depth output. Uh, one thing worth noting, you can't use Z depths in deep image compositing. So you can't combine this into your EXR image with your beauty pass. Um, it won't work. So you'll always get a separate Z path, just so you know, uh, Z depth pass, just so you know. So if we click this button here, we'll get its attributes here on the right. I'm going to set um, in depth, I'm going to set normalize 0 to 1, so it, it just changes the range to be 0 to 1. It makes it a little bit easier to see in Nuke. Filter at full is fine and scale at 1 is fine. Uh, you got your file format up here. Uh, Open EXR is what we're going to be do using. Generally for compositing, you want a linear uh, file type, so EXR will be the way to go. Um, and then you can either choose 32-bit or 16. I'm just going to use 16 for this tutorial though. Um, and then otherwise, all your other render settings, just as you would have them. In this example, I'm going to be using uh, 512 samples, and I'm rendering this out at 720p. So once that's all set, let's go to rendering, uh, rendering, uh, click render, and then go batch render. Okay, so our render has finished at a time of 3 minutes and 33 seconds. If you want to know where that batch render has gone to, it's in your project file under images by default. And you'll see I've got those two files there. That one's our Z and that one is our beauty pass. So let's open up Nuke and dump them in. Okay, with Nuke open, we can just select both the files in Windows Explorer and click and drag them in and we can close that. So the one on the left here, if I just select that node and press one um, and connect it to the viewer, uh, you'll see that's our beauty pass with everything in focus. And this other one, if I connect that to the viewer, you won't be able to see anything. That's our Z path. And we can make this visible um, by creating a shuffle node. So uh, hit tab and type in shuffle and connect that to the Z pass and then if we select that shuffle node and click one again, it will connect it to a view, our viewer. And then in the shuffle node properties on the right, we'll select depth and then now you can see our depth channel, which is just in a range between zero and one, which is why we normalized it in uh, Maya. It just makes it a little bit easier to view here. Otherwise it would appear basically completely white. So what we want to do now is use a channel merge node to connect the depth from our Z depth uh, pass to our beauty pass. So we can use that to drive a uh, Z defocus node. So the first thing we're going to do is create that channel merge node. So just once again, hit tab, type in channel and you'll get channel merge. We're going to select the B uh, input and plug that into our beauty pass. And the A is going to go into the shuffle node coming out of our Z depth pass. Then, then with our channel merge node, uh, under the A channel, we're going to change that to be RGBA red. And in the B channel, we're going to select none for the um, uh, for the first drop bit, for the first drop down. And on the output, we're going to select Z depth. So it's only going to be getting the Z depth out of it. Then if we select that merge channel again and press one, you'll see it's merged them together. It doesn't appear that there's any difference though at the moment. Uh, however, we will be able to see that once we put the Z defocus node in. So let's do that tab and then type ZDE and you get ZD focus and the image is going to connect up to there and then if you just select that node and tap one again it's going to connect it to um, our viewer and you see that everything's out of focus so what we need to do is select our focal point here and we'll just bring it onto the robot for now and you'll see that's brought them into focus all right now uh, one thing you will notice is if you go under output change it to focal plane setup. This just shows you what regions are going to be in focus. So the green is going to be completely in focus and uh, that region is larger because I've increased the depth of field. So keeping that 1.0, if I zoom in, you'll see around the edge of the robot, uh, there will be an area that is out of focus. So once I get a result, you'll see that. Uh, this is because I've got the math set to far equals zero. To get this to work correctly, uh, you need to set it to depth. And you'll see that that focal depth works correctly now and once again I can control the focus region with the depth of field 
uh, increasing and decreasing that so uh, make sure that you've got that set to depth um, I had to just interject here I was uh, tipped off by uh, MI RAJE8086 on YouTube on my RenderMan version of this tutorial so I want to, put, to uh, point that out here. Now we can also use this Z channel to create some atmosphere and this is done very simply. Uh, we'll just create a new shuffle node and we'll connect that to our other Z depth shuffle node and then and then we'll create a merge node once again tapping um, tab and press and typing in merge and we'll connect that there so the B is to our image and the A is going to be to our Z um, and if I just select that second shuffle node and I go to node and select postage postage stamp you'll see that there's not a great deal of value there it's sort of between 0 and probably 0.5 um, so to get a bit more value out of that because at the moment that's not going to really create the effect we're going for I'm going to put in a grade node um, so once again tab and type in grade and that's just going to go between the merge node and that shuffle node and we're going to use this basically to increase the gain of our of the Z channel so if I select postage stamps there you can see the difference between the two and I can just increase that gain to say 10 and then select the merge node and um, we can sort of play with the mix now so reducing it obviously will reduce the amount of atmosphere that's been created and increasing it will increase it and if you need more if you need it to come further forward you just have to increase the gain so if I increase it to 50 for example you'll see that it's getting much closer to him uh, we got 100 yeah and then we can just back it off using this the problem with increasing the gain however is that it's not going to be as uh, it's not going to be a softer an effect so you kind of have to balance out what you're doing here to get the effect that you're looking for for your specific image but um, that's pretty much all there is to that and that's pretty much there all there is to this tutorial um, so yeah you'll have to forgive me if you're an expert nuke user and you found the nuke portion of this uh, offensive I'm a fairly new nuke user um, but I know that there are a lot of people that wanted to know how to do this they asked in the comments on a lot of other tutorials so I'm gonna start looking at AOVs as well um, in another tutorial uh, if you liked this tutorial however make sure you click that like button so other people on YouTube can find it and if you haven't already make sure you're subscribed so you can see the couple of tutorials I put out every week for all sorts of CG products like Redshift and now Nuke um, if you want to stay up to date make sure you are following on Facebook link in the description that's it for now though thank you very much for watching and happy rendering